Order in the court. I'm doing a verdict watch for Daniel Greiner. He was 23 months old out of Bridgeton, New Jersey, and this happened February 2019. His mother would report that someone had kidnapped her oldest son, Daniel, who was 23 months, while she walked to a convenience store holding her infant son, in her arms. 24-year-old Nikairi Griner, her lies would come to light. She then told the police the boy had fell down the stairs in her home. Now, it's also believed, I read in articles, that this baby wasn't listening to her and he wouldn't eat and she had struck him so violently that he fell but she's just saying her baby had fallen and he was so injured that she put him in a stroller and she left him on the street, hoping that someone would find her son and render him medical attention because she didn't want to be blamed for his injuries. Now, I do understand at the time she was 24 years old, but I'm sorry, your youth does not make this acceptable. If your baby's injured, you seek medical attention for yourself. If you can't take him to the hospital, you dial 911 and you give him medical attention. So why would you leave your baby on the street? So basically she's saying that she didn't want to get blamed for his injuries but she didn't mind getting blamed for abandonment of a baby that needed emergency medical attention. Now, cadaver dogs were brought to her home and Daniel's remains were found on the property, I believe behind a shed, and his remains was also found inside her handbag. This baby's body parts, she dismembered him and she pretty much divvied him out throughout her property and again, her handbag. I mean, that's too much. That, that is way too much. An autopsy report would say that the child was beaten to death and he had multiple bone fractures. A judge did rule out that Griner wasn't properly advised during her arrest, so she was not given her Miranda rights. So a lot of her statements will not be introduced as evidence, is what I had read, but I know attorneys have a way of working their point around different things anyway, especially when somebody has done such a heinous crime, such as this one. She has pled not guilty. She admits responsibility for the dismembering and the burning, but not for the death. So again, if your child is badly injured, you take him to seek medical attention. It's very simple to do. So, justice for Daniel Greiner. <laughs>